Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge, and welcome back to City of Gangsters, where last time there was a spot of violence, wasn't there? There was a spot of the shooty, shooty, killy, killy variety of violence, when we headed over to this general area here, and we took out the Houston outfit. I mean, to be fair, they were meddling in our affairs somewhat, they were causing trouble with the fronts and all that kind of stuff, which was quite rude, and it was a little bit irritating, so, I mean, they were dealt with, it's fine, they kind of had it coming to them, because, you know, they were being a little bit troublesome, so they now no longer exist, and another rival bites the dust, which is marvellous. There are the Demetrius down here, however. So as we were over here dealing with this lot, we kind of became aware of these over here, but they are quite some distance away. They're not right next to us like the Houston outfit was over here. So hopefully they will not be as meddlesome as those guys were. But there we go. So one more rival down, which is very good indeed. Also, last time we did finish our wonderful beer operation. There it is. It's over at Sheila's place, but it's not up and running quite yet. It's not sort of working properly. So that's where we're going to start today. At least let's get some beer underway, because I think if we go and have have a look just here. Yes, we are lacking small bottles. And I can see this being a bit of a problem, to be honest. So how about, how about, where's, where's Penge Cupboard? Let's get Penge Cupboard to go over to, hang on, hang on, who had the small bottles? It was somebody over there, wasn't it? It was, it was Nelly, of course it was. So yeah, let's get Penge Cupboard to pop over to Nelly's place and just see if she has any small bottles available. Please tell me you've got some small bottles, Nelly. Um, there we go, small bottles. I'll pick some up right now. Ah, good, right. Pick up as many, 100% full. What? Why is Penge Cupboard's car full? Hang on, what was I doing last time? We've got a load of brick wine and some lumber. Ah, and we've got a load of money. Okay, right, hang on a minute, hang on. We've got a load of extra bits and bobs. Um, hang on, let's drive over to here for now. Let's dump that stuff over at, uh, at Pete's American Meats and Cheeses, because that's kind of our, our dumping ground right now. Look at this, it's all this, <laughs> this random stuff just thrown in. So chuck the brick wine in and the lumber. There we go, wonderful. Uh, okay, uh, right, Penge Cupboard doesn't have a... He hasn't got his gun anymore. Hang on, pocket pistol, back we go, there we go. Right, and now go back to... Now I've got insufficient movement points. Okay, this is all fine, this is all fine, it's part of the plan. Um, and yes, everyone else is kind of coming back to heal up, I think. So I think Dale has healed up. So I think Dale's okay, but we do need to get them to go and repair their vehicles as well. So I think, has anybody got any movement points left? Yes, Dale has. So Dale, you pop over here and just get your vehicle sorted out, please. Hang on, we'll talk to you in a bit. So you fix vehicles, uh, $62, absolutely. There we go. So Dale's vehicle is now back up and running. So Dale, you can resume your route, I would think because you drop off the money and you drop off all the crocs and everything else. So you can go back onto your route, please. So you start your delivery route. Um, Frowny Face is healing up by the look of it, so he's not quite ready. However, Harry, it looks like Harry has healed up, which is all very good. So uh, yes, Harry, what have you got on you? A big pile of money, some crocs and a gun. Okay, that's fine. So the crocs, do you know what? I don't know if you deal with crocs, but they can just go straight into there. That's absolutely fine. Um, and then yes, your vehicle also needs a little bit of repairs. So you can, you can't go there right now. Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. Let's just go to the next turn. Oh, we need to go and pay the police. We need to go and speak to Officer Gerald again. Okay, right, hang on. Harry, first things first, you go and repair your vehicle over here. Andrew's getting some good business out of us. You fix vehicles. Yep, 77 monies. Okay, right. So now Harry has got just that on him. So some money and a weapon. That's fine. Harry, you can recommence your cider route, which is very good. And then Frowny Face, you need to go over there. Oh, no, you're healing up. Okay, that's fine. You spent some time healing up. Um, hang on a second. Hang on. Right. Now we get Penge Cupboard. We get Penge Cupboard to come back over here. And uh, yes, we shall now buy some small bottles. <laughs> this is fine. Right, 40 small bottles. Wonderful stuff. Right, so pop over here. Uh, in fact, no, pop over to where they are needed. There we go, that's better. Pop over to there, right, and drop them off. And when they're in, that means now we should be making some more beer, which is very good indeed. Okay, so now we can make some more lovely, proper bottled beer. This is excellent news. We need to go and have a word with, um, a word with Officer Gerald. How much money have we got? 985 of the monies, which is marvellous. So where's Officer Gerald these days? Where are you, Officer Gerald? You're all the way over there. Can we go and have a chat with you? 
because let's just get this out of the way. So we shall drive over. Here we go. Hello, Officer Gerald. Um, it's lovely to see you again. Um, I'm suggesting not a bribe game. Come on, we know this by now. Officer Gerald knows that we don't do bribes. We do donations. So um, yes, absolutely, we know all this by now. 428 of the dollars for police cooperation for 310 days. I think that sounds absolutely fine to me. There we go. And thank you very much. And cheerio. Okay, so Officer Gerald is um, is back on the books, which is good. That means we don't have to worry about him too much. Right. Is everything else okay? Is everything else all fine? So Frowny Face can't do anything, but we do need him to actually go and you know, sort stuff out eventually. We do need him to go and repair his car and then get back helping the fronts. I think everybody else is sort of... Everyone else is muddling through, which is all good stuff. So, uh, yeah, hang on a second. Hang on. So, so let's get Penge cupboard to, what have we got? 557 monies. Can we have a chat? I mean, there's somebody on this corner right now. Francis Simons of Simons and the Crew. It would be good if we could get this person here, Kaminsky, on board. If they could become one of our fronts, that would be very handy indeed, because then they could expand to there, and they could expand down here, and that's all useful, because that's more corners. So let's have a chat with you. Now we've got a big pile of money on us. Okay, so one favour. So hello, Irina. So let's go through the... Oh, we need a relationship level of 10. We did have that once upon a time, didn't we? I thought we did have that with them. Um, okay, who do we know that could put in a good word with them for us? Uh, not that many people. Officer Gerald, it seems. Um, okay, Chappie over there. So Herman on that corner. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's go down here. Have a word with Herman. Herman, Herman likes us. This is good. Um, yeah, and you know... Hang on, who was it again? It was Irina, wasn't it? So yeah, okay. They're just an acquaintance. So they're not related in any way. They're just an acquaintance. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Right, so... Yes, please. Let's have a chat with you. Can we turn in one of your favours? Support with a common friend. Irina. Appreciate the gesture. There we go. Right, she should like us a little bit more now. So let's go over and have a chat. So hello, that favour. We want you to become a corner. How much money do you need? No 980 monies? Goodness. Okay. <laughs> that is somewhat more than I was expecting, if I'm completely honest. Okay, it's probably worth doing. And we are looking pretty good for money. It's looking okay right now. Let's go and grab some money from here. Let's go and grab... Oh, hang on, it's that way around, isn't it? Let's go and grab that much. So we'll have $1,057 upon our person. Right, and then head back over there. Oh, we can't get back. <laughs> Don't lose that opinion. Do not lose that opinion in that time, please. That would be annoying. Um, okay, go to next term. Right, frowny face. You do need to go and sort the fronts out. Because the fronts are going to be... They're going to be missing you, frowny face. They do like you. Um, hang on, right. So frowny face... Go and repair your car. You fix vehicles. Da, da, da. 81. Absolutely. That was in a bad condition, wasn't it? Right. Frowny face. Get back on it, please. Go and help the fronts out. That will be wonderful. And we shall head over here. We'll wave down the road to Officer Gerald. Hello, Officer Gerald. Right. Okay. Let's go through all that again. Corner. Yep. Absolutely. Open up a front. Okay. So another front. This is very good. 25 corners now. And then... Let's have a quick chat with you. How is the front doing? Um, let's talk about the locals. Need to expand. $15. And there we go. Okay, so we just made quite a bit of money there, which is quite nice. Okay, so now we have them working on whichever corner it was. I don't know which one it was. I guess it's this one. I imagine it's harder to get the police station kind of on board. But there we go. That'll do the job. So they will slowly start expanding, which is all good stuff. Um, and then that means we now need to adjust... Frowny faces root ever so slightly to then go and help out that front as well. So hang on. Oh my word. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. What happens with frowny face? Oh, it, it looks like it's all over the place. Frowny faces root does look a little bit of a hot mess. Um, hang on. Right. Where does he start? He starts at the clothing shop. Hang on. So he starts there. Then he goes to Parkside Painters. Which one is that? Um, that one. Right, so he goes, so he starts here, then he goes there, then he goes there, then he hops to there, then to there. What's this here then? Oh, that's just where he is now. Oh, I think that's where he's standing currently. That's where he's sitting in his car. Okay, right, okay. So what we need to do is, um, yeah, that's fine. Save that step. So when he goes to here, 
I think we insert another step to help that corner out and then go to wherever it goes after that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. This is very confusing. Um, yeah, so add another step. So he's going to go to the hotel. That's fine. So we need him to go to, um, yeah, collect from or support a front. And it's the one we've not got yet. So yeah, Arena Kaminsky. That's all fine. And uh, yeah, cash. So take the money or give them the money. That's fine. Save that step. But that needs to go after the Western Market American Grocers. So Western Market American Grocers. Then go and help Kaminsky's. Then go to Neighbourhood Painting and Construction. And then go back home. Yeah, okay, right. Norman, your route is done. Frowny face, you can now go and do more stuff. That is all very good indeed. How are we looking for making some beer over here? We've got some more turns, but that's okay. That's okay. We can wait. We can be patient for some lovely proper bottles of beer. Hang on a minute. We've been attacked. So we just skip to the next turn, and during that time, Penge Cupboard has been attacked. Oh, this is unacceptable. So yeah, that chappy there, Francis Simons, from Simons and the Crew, has attacked Penge Cupboard. Oh, that is unacceptable, Francis Simons. We will not let that stand. So yes, Penge Cupboard has lost 25 health points. So he's down one quarter of his health because he was attacked by Francis Simons, who was using a crowbar. So I imagine that's quite painful. I imagine being hit with a crowbar is quite hurty. And then Francis Simons lost entirely no health points at all because he was attacked by Penge Cupboard, who was using a pistol, or at least he was trying to use a pistol. But I imagine really what Penge Cupboard was doing was just running away. He was running away, trying not to spill his tea. That's what we're going to go for. So he took no damage at all did Francis Simons. But yeah, that does mean that our wonderful, illustrious leader is slightly injured. This is outrageous. Right, Francis Simons and the crew. Where is your, where is your turf? Where is this? I don't quite know where it is. Hang on, can we find out where they are? There. That's where Simons and the crew are. Simons and the crew, you might possibly regret that decision you made there. You might regret that attack in the coming weeks and or months, because we might have to go after you you're a little bit close to some of our territory as it is, but if you're a bit fighty, we do not want that at all. Hang on, so Penge Cupboard, you can probably have a chat with him. So he's interested in business, and he's currently angry at us. Oh yeah, he really hates us. Um, oh, oh, hang on a minute. They've heard that you are to blame for a family member's death. Possibly we should not have left Penge Cupboard on their own on that corner with this very angry chappy. Um... Right, okay, we might need to go and uh, deal with them, in kind of air quotes. We might need to uh, take them out of the picture kind of thing, because I think they're going to be angry at us forever because we've killed one of their family members. So, yeah, they're going to be a bit of an issue. So maybe once we've gone and de you know, dealt with all the fronts and such like, once we've got business back in order slightly, um, I think we might have to go and take them out. For now, however, I think what we'll do is... Hang on, we need to talk to Ruby anyway. Ruby's down here, isn't she? Is Ruby there? That's Ruby, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll pop down here. So let's go and have a word with Ruby. So we'll run away from the angry chap. And um, yeah, let's have a word with Ruby and turn in that mission. Oh, hang on. We can't do anything until we need to recuperate. Oh, Ruby's saying you can hang out here and recuperate. Well, that's quite nice. Do you know what? I think I will. Thank you, Ruby. That's very kind. Yes, we are recuperating. Right, we can't do anything else. So... Let's just skip to the next turn. Everybody else is dealing with their roots and fronts and all that kind of stuff. I don't like him being there. Not a big fan of him being there. Right, one of our fronts is having a little bit of a, a meltdown. Fortunately, it's the one that's right in front of us. So we shall deal with that. Right, hang on. So always happy to help friends. So this is us turning in that mission. Okay, let the backroom beer start flowing. I said it would help out. So how can I help with this new operation? Okay, so she could give us a load of... Ooh. 180 cases of small bottles. That could be very handy. That could be very, very useful indeed. Oh, and, yeah, and some hops. So that's, what, that's three beer runs, is it? That's quite good. Um, I'd like to put a parking spot for a truck here. Oh, and I'd like the truck too. So expanded booze parking spot. Um, okay, that could be interesting. Now that I'm using homemade beer to make backroom beer, uh, well, we're not. We're not, we're not using homemade beer to make backroom beer. We're making the backroom beer purely by mixing the right ingredients. We're not using our homebrew at all. Um, but we could, we could think about upgrading our beer operation. So we get six crates of pipes, 150 crocs, and $600. Or 
or we could set up a malt syrup operation. Okay, that's fine. We don't need malt syrup. Hang on. Hang on. Can we look here and go to there? Uh, okay, upgrades available. So what do we need to do this? So to get our home brew operation improved, so we'd take 20 malt syrup, it'd take 100 crocs every time. Yeah, that's quite the ask, isn't it? That's quite the ask. And it produces 100 beer. Uh, we do need those things there, but that's what she's offering to give us. She is offering to give us those things. The pipes and the crocs and the money. So essentially, we could get a free upgrade to our home brew operation. That does, however, require quite a lot of crocs every time. Um, how much beer have we got over now? 54.5. How much beer is over in the pub? How much beer is here? Hang on a minute. Let's have a look. Only 35 beer is in the pub. Okay. So could we do something clever with that? Could we put more beer into the pub? Hang on. How much is the pub selling? Uh, selling 55 every four turns. And that would make... Hang on. If we upgraded it... Hang on. Hang on. Let's go and have a look at that. That would make 100 every four turns. So we could load the pub up with half the beer that produces and then go and sell the other half to all the people around the place. I think that's what we will do. I think, Ruby, we will take you up on that offer. Thank you very much. I mean, all these other ones are very good. They're all very, very good things. I mean, that's wonderful. That's a lot of bottles. That's a lot of beer we could make. But this is going to improve a, you know, an existing operation. So, yes, please. We will have that. Thank you very much. Okay, select drop-off location. Um, well, let's put it... Um, oh, hang on. Agnes is 87% full. Can we fit it all in there? I imagine we just did. I don't like him being there. Why is he lurking around the place? Hang on. And now we can help you out in terms of a front. So hang on a second. How's the front doing? We haven't got enough action points. Um, right. Okay. Yes, because we've just healed up, haven't we? I think we get a couple of turns grace before the front kind of goes into full meltdown. I think it's fine. So hang on. Let's go to the next turn. Right. Yeah, they're trying to... They're trying to hit us. <gasps> Lovely hat cupboard. So Penge cupboard lost no health points. And Francis lost 48 health points. Yeah, take that, Francis. Penge cupboard got a lucky shot <laughs> while he was running away, blind firing behind him, screeching a bit. Um, okay, right, hang on. How is the front doing? Um, money is not ready yet. Oh, hang on, hang on. Where's Frowny Face? Did Frowny Face just deal with that? I think Frowny Face might have just dealt with that corner on his rounds. Okay, that's good. Right, we're going to go over here. We're going to ignore Francis Simons. He's becoming a bit of a nuisance, but we're just going to ignore him for now because we are going to do this because we can. The money's in there. The pipes are in there. We know the crocs are in there. So it's all fine. It's all sorted. So let us get this done. Let's improve our home brew operation to make even more lovely home brew. There we go. It's going to take a little while, but that's fine. That is absolutely okay. Right, has that finished? Because that must have finished by now. Have we got some beer? We have. We've got 60 lots of backroom beer. Okay, this is very exciting. This is wonderful stuff. Right, Chappie there. Do we want to go and actually sort him out with Frowny Face? Do we want to go and use Frowny Face to stop him being a nuisance? I think Frowny Face has finished his stuff for now. Yeah, he's got movement points, but no action points. Okay, Frowny Face, hang on. Stop the delivery for now. I think you'll be okay. There's no other fronts that are in crisis right now. Because, yeah, that person, he's just going to keep coming at us, isn't he? He's just going to keep driving at us. So you come over here, frowny face, and we will go to... Is there anything else we need to do right now? That's being upgraded. I mean, ideally, I want to spend a bit of money on improving the, the pub. We need to put some improvements back in the pub because they got removed when we upgraded it a bit. But, uh, but yeah, right now, let's just go to the next turn. Yeah, it's all good. Time passing is fine. Hang on a minute. Hang on, somebody's dead. It, ah, right, okay, it's not Frowny Face. <laughs> Did he mess with Frowny Face? I think he might have done. Frowny Face lost 30 health points because he got walloped with a crowbar. However, Francis Simons lost all of his remaining health points because he was shot in the head, I imagine, by Frowny Face. Okay, Frowny Face, well done, I suppose. But hang on, you need to, uh, you need to heal up. So you go over there and heal up, I think, because you can heal up over there. Right, so you do that. Wonderful. And then Penge Cupboard, you come back down here. You get the, the spoils of glory. <laughs> you get this. It's a bit of money. A switchblade and a crowbar. That sounds all very violent indeed. Can we not have his vehicle? I still don't quite understand why we can't have the vehicle. Because that would be quite useful. Okay, right. So we've got a new resource. Okie doke. Do you know what? We're just going to uh, 
throw them both into there, into the junk room at the moment. And um, yeah, that's him taken care of, which is very handy. So now what have we got? $114. And that means that his thing over here, there you go, suspicious building. Let's go over there with Penge Cupboard. Let's have a nosy into that building. Because that's clearly their sort of, their safe house or whatever. And it should, in theory, be empty. Yes, no longer a concern. You can take what they've left behind. Okie doke. And we... Oh my goodness me. Wow. Okay. <laughs> right. So, um, switchblades. Okay, right. Stabby weapons. Okay. Whiskey. Wine. Cider. Billy clubs. Moonshine. Brick wine. Cider. Oh, hard cider and sparkling cider. Oh, very nice. Crowbars, pocket knives and baseball bats. Um, right. Okay. We need to go and drop those things off because Penge Cupboard now has a car full of stuff. <laughs> Um, right, hang on, hang on. We need to go and find where that is. Ah, hang on, hang on. Now, lots of people have pointed out that the hotel might not be revealing their secrets of what they would like uh, to us because we're not aware of certain resources. But now we do know about whiskey because we've just picked some up. We've picked up this bottle and gone, my goodness, what on earth is this? I've never seen this before. Oh, it says whiskey on it. Well, there we go. That's news to me. So now we are aware of whiskey. The hotel might say, actually, I do quite like whiskey. Can you please make us some? That would be quite good. But hang on, let's drive away from there for now. Let's uh, let's leave that place. Let's go away from over there. Right, um, everybody, as you were, right, frowny face, you can get back on your route. Are you healed? Yes, you are. Yeah, get back on your route next time then, please. There we go. Right, go to the next turn. And ah, we have another corner, which is wonderful. Um, okay, head down to here. Let's have a chat with you. So, okie doke. How's the front doing? Talk about the locals. Right, this corner. So, which corner did we get then? What corner did we get then? I'm not quite sure what we just acquired there. Was it that one? Is that... Ah, there. There. That one. We got that corner. Um, okay. So, now we're going to go over here. Which, yeah, that's good. That's a handy place to have. So, yes. Okay. Go and do that then, please. That's another corner. And we can now have three more crew. We do need to sort that out. We need people over there to manage all that kind of stuff. We shall get to that momentarily. Lloyd's looking for people to go and play poker. Yeah, absolutely. It wasn't that exciting last time, Lloyd. Sorry. Um, okay, okay. That car is still there. Can we not just nick his vehicle? I don't get why we can't just take his car. Um, okay, what were we doing? Oh, yeah, we're dropping off all that stuff. So let's go over to the, um, to the, the junk room. And we'll just chuck all the weapons and stuff in there. Because we don't need a baseball bat. We don't need billy clubs. We don't need three crowbars. We don't need four pocket knives. We don't need two switchblades. However, the rest of this stuff, I think we can sell. We can sell this, absolutely. We just need to find potential buyers. So, I mean, yeah, this is now a lot of stuff. I mean, what have we got? Pop that open there. We've got quite a bit of quite a bit of hard cider going on. I mean, the joke will do with the hard cider, actually. The hard cider can just go straight into the pub. That's fine, because people will buy that. So that's all good. So, um, oh no, hang on. That's the pub there. So, yeah, drop that straight in. So the hard cider can go straight into the pub. There we go. People will buy that as time goes by. And then, yeah, it's just this other stuff. So we've got sparkling cider, whiskey, counterfeit wine. Okay, right, hang on a second. So whiskey. Does the hotel... Is the hotel interested in whiskey? No, the hotel is not. However, there are a few people interested in whiskey. Down here, suds and such. They wouldn't mind a bit of whiskey. Okay, let, let's have a chat with you. Um, yes, we've got some bottled whiskey. 30 per case. I think that's fine. Yeah, you may have all five. There you go. That's $150. Just for, for nothing, really. Okay, right. Well, that's $150 that we didn't have before. What else have we now got on us? So we've got some counterfeit wine, sparkling cider, moonshine and brick wine. How about the moonshine? Moonshine over there and then brick wine. Is anybody willing to buy both at the same time? No. Head over there. Moonshine and brick wine are sort of next to each other. So if we head over here, we can sell moonshine there and the brick wine over here. Okay, that's those gone. So now we have ourselves eight lots of counterfeit wine and nine lots of sparkling cider. So who would like counterfeit wine and who would like sparkling cider? That one place there could be all we need. Okay, let's pop down here, have a chat with Plaza Lanes. Hello. We've got lots of stuff you would like, it seems. Um, okay, sparkling cider. Got some in the car. Is it worth trying to? Is it worth trying to get a bit more money off of that? Because I think we could. 25 per case is okay. 
However, we're going to have to do it for both of those things. Do you know what? It's fine. It's fine. You, know, you can have all of them. That's $225. That is excellent news. But we might be out of... Uh, yeah, we're out of action points. There we go. Go to the next turn. And we finished building a new operation. Ah, right. That is now ready to be making... That's you know, prepared to make even more beer. The only thing is we might need to load it up with quite a lot of crocs. Hang on a second. Hang on. Right. And then... Um, oh, no. It was Plaza Lanes, wasn't it? Plaza Lanes... Hello, we've also got some sparkling cider that you might like as well. So there is... Um, oh no, hang on, did we sell the sparkling cider? Is that what we just did? Oh no, right, sorry, counterfeit wine. It's counterfeit wine. Um, counterfeit wine. Um, ah, they're buying this at a, at a slightly higher price. Okay, this is good. Yes, you may have all of it. For $268. Oh, that was... That was wonderful. So we've now got just under $1,000. That was very successful. Okay, right. Happy with that. Very happy with that. Let's go down here then. Let's put some upgrades back into the pub. Because the pub did get its um, get its upgrades removed when we turned it from, whatever it was, the regular bootlegger into the expanded bootlegger. For some reason, the expansions kind of got removed. So let's go back into here. So what do we want to have? More bar seating is good. But we need $200 in there. That's fine. We can get that done. So what's that? Cramming more chairs to squeeze in even more customers. Discreet advertising is very cheap. I imagine that's a bit rubbish. Glassware. Use the old style pre-prohibition glassware that's found in a building you took over. Invest in a proper display area. But what does that do? Well, I'd like to see the effects of this. I don't really know what it does. A dishwasher. So that means we can sell more booze each day. That's very expensive. But we did just make a load of sort of free money, as it were. And that means we can sell more booze each day. I don't think selling more each day is a problem, really. I think selling a lot each day is an issue. I think we do go through it quite quickly. Um, how about how about we get get more bar seating? I like the idea of that. I like the idea of that. So I think we've got the chairs, haven't we? Because we spent ages putting the chairs into there. We just need to kind of, you know, reposition them and stuff. So $200 for that. And then I'm very tempted to do this. Old time glassware. I have no idea what that's going to do at all. I don't really know why we need that kind of thing. But yeah, I like the idea of that. So let's put let's put 700 of our dollars into there. There we go. So finish loading. Go back to there. So let's see what differences this makes. So firstly, more bar seating. We can afford to do this. Cram in more chairs to squeeze in even more customers. I like that. I like the idea of it being a bit busier. So here we go. So what have we got? 28... 55. So now it's 31 and 61. Right, so we're selling more stuff. Okay, makes sense. And then the other one is going to be the old time glassware. Who knows what this is going to do? So 31 every four days, 61 every four days. Let's press that. 38 and 76. Oh my goodness me. Right, so the glassware is the glassware is very, very good. Increase the amount of booze you sell by 25%. And the bar seating is sell 10% more. Okay, oh look, now we can see. Now we see what they do. It'd be useful if we could see that without having to install them first. Okay, so the, the pub has become significantly more effective. Right. Now the only thing about that is we're going to need to make sure that the operation over here has enough crocs to do what it needs to do. Because, yeah, the pub is going to be selling an awful lot of beer. Hang on a minute. Where are the crocs? Right, so we can buy crocs from there and there and also over there as well. Okay, hang on then, hang on. Right, penge cupboard. Go and stock up on loads of crocs over here. We'll just throw loads in for now, but we might need to factor them into some sort of some sort of route. Okay, stoneware crocs. Have we got money? Yes, we have. Wonderful. Hello. Um, yep, yeah, can we buy some crocs, please, my good sir? I'll pick some up. You've got 336. We'll have 89 of them. Well, hang on, are we in a... What are we in? We normally can't have that. Oh, are we in some sort of pickup or something? Have I not got out of my pickup truck? Is that is that the problem? What vehicle am I in? Uh, I can't quite tell. What vehicle am I in, game? Um, I don't know what vehicle I'm in. Yes, I'm in a pickup truck. Okay, that's why we can carry quite a lot of stuff. That would sort of make sense, wouldn't it? Right, so let's load that up with a massive pile of crocs because yeah, that's where we're struggling. We need 70 crocs every single production run okay yeah that's that's quite a lot okay there you go so we're nearly at two runs but yeah we do need to factor in all of the um factor in the crocs as part of a production run 
and a sort of a delivery run here. Hang on, who deals with that? It's Dale, isn't it? Hang on, let's have a little look at what's going on here. So right now, pick up beer and drop off 35 crocs at Robert's Candies. That's not enough. We need to change that. That needs to go up to at least, hang on, shift is 100 per click, control is 10. You need to drop off at least 75. Drop off 75 because I think they're selling 76. Yeah, that'll be sort of topped up quite nicely. So that's what you need to do. But then, in terms of the picking up crocs, yeah, you buy 20 crocs. That is is not enough. Hang on, where's, where's that gone? Uh, buy up to 20 crocs. Buy um, all of them. Buy all of the crocs, please. Yes, absolutely. Buy everything. Yeah, buy as many as you can. Um, and then, is it worth getting him to go slightly further afield and buy some more crocs? It might be. So we stop off... Hang on, where do we buy that from? We buy the crocs from Dorothy's. What about Nellie's? Why don't we buy some crocs from Nellie's as well? Because Nellie sells crocs. So hang on, let's do that. So add a step. So buy stoneware crocs from Nellie's place and buy all of them. As many as you can, my good sir. So, okay, so we'll have that. And then we just need to position that in the right place. So it's going to be after we go to Nellie's place. So there, so sell the beer. Hang on, Nellie's. So it's there. So we go to Nellie's, we sell the beer, we buy the crocs. Then we stop off at Dorothy's and we buy the crocs. Okay, that might be okay. We might better muddle through with that kind of that kind of arrangement there. I think we should work on improving our cider operation. So the home brew operation has been improved. So that makes an awful lot of home brew. I think we do the same here. So what do we need? We need $800, that's fine. We need eight lots of pipes and we need 150 crocs, which is okay. We can manage that kind of stuff. So. I think, yeah, let's get all that stuff together and we'll upgrade the cider making operation as well. And again, we'll need to sort of tweak the tweak the delivery routes ever so slightly to make sure they bring back more crocs and such like. But that's okay. We can muddle through with that. So yes, we need some pipes and we need 150 crocs. Okay, that could that could take a little while. However, Chappy down here has got loads of crocs, hasn't he? Um, oh, hang on. That's frowny face. Sorry, frowny face. Hang on. I've moved the wrong person. Where are we? We're there. There we go. It's the moustache, you see. I get ever so confused. Right, hang on. You go back over there. Frowny face, go back to where you were. It's fine. You carry on doing what you were doing. Good job. Um, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Right, so um, can we buy all of the stoneware crocs you have, pretty much? 89 of them. Hang on. Why can't I afford that? Oh, hang on. We've, right, hang on. We're ever so slightly shy of the money all of a sudden. Hang on. Let's pop over to here. Hello. Right, can we just grab... Yeah, there's quite a bit of money in there, isn't there? Let's just... Um, Let's grab, I don't know, a thousand dollars. Let's grab, so we've got up to a thousand dollars. Right, and then we'll put that. I've just moved, the, the, <laughs> I've just moved Harry. Oh, this is, this is not going well at all. It's, I keep moving people around that should not be being moved around. Penge cover, come here. Stop, stop meddling around with everybody else's stuff. Um, okay, hello, can I have some Crocs? I'll pick some up. There we go. That's 89 of them. Right, okay, so drive back over here. This is all fine. It's all part of the plan. Right, and then lob those crocs into there. Uh, we've got the money in there. That's fine. So we just need to put a lot more crocs into there. So again, right, hang on. Make sure we've got the right person. So penge cupboard, come back over here. Buy a lot of crocs again. So buy exactly the same again. So another 89. That is very good. That is very good to know. Okay, we're not going to be able to make it back in terms of movement points, but that's fine. We can just skip forward to the next turn. We will go over here. Right. Chuck them into there. So there's 226 crocs in there now, which is excellent news. And then we just need to pick up some pipes. So let's have a little look. Pipes we can get from over there. That's all very good. So pop over to there. We've got plenty of movement points to get back as well. So it was six lots of pipes. Hang on. So pipes, pick some up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. $144. Thank you very much. We can go over here. I think that's going to be... We can do that right now. Okay, that was that was terrifyingly straightforward. Okay, yeah, so finish loading. Hang on, can we just go and do that now? It was eight pipes. Hang on, no, we can't do that right now. <laughs> I thought it was six. I thought it was six pipes, not eight pipes. Botherations. Hang on, can I buy some more pipes? Uh, yeah, just two more, please. 
Just two more. We're a bit short. The, yeah, the sink's a little bit. It doesn't quite reach. Um, okay, well, there we go. There we go. Right, we've got two more pipes, everybody. We knew this. This is part of the plan. Now can we upgrade this? <laughs> we've got everything else. Yeah, there we go. Absolutely. So, yes, please. Let's have an improved cider operation. Yes, this is very good indeed. Okay, so the home brew operation has been improved. And now the cider operation is going to be improved. So things are looking very good. This is excellent stuff. Does it give us any more expansion slots? I didn't even look. I did not even... Oh, it's obliterated the expansions. Oh, okay. We need to go and put the expansion things back in. Hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on, because they're all gone. Um, yeah, they've all gone. So when you upgrade, it kind of gets rid of everything. Um, okay. I mean, yes. Let's have a steam... Oh, German beer kettle. Ooh. What's this? Um... Hang on, this is very exciting. I don't know what it does, but... Ah, is that... Is the little picture indicative of how good the thing is? How effective it is? So if we use German beer kettles, that's going to be better than putting in industrial filters, say. Okay, I mean, it costs 700 of the monies. I think we can afford it. Let's pop in some German beer kettles. So 1470, 100. 1470, 125! <laughs> It makes so much beer. That's ludicrous. Right, hang on. We want increases production. I'd like to be able to reduce the amount of things. Um, take advantage of their natural abilities. Ah, oh, this is the ledger. This is the expensive ledger book. 14 and 70. Okay, hang on. It's just making even more beer, which is great stuff. But I'd like to reduce the... I'd like to reduce what is, the, you know, the ingredients rather than, you know, increase the output. Uh, industrial filters... 10% more output from your source materials. Well, I suppose that is still quite good. And a steam sanitizer, 10% production. Okay, do we want filters or do we want a steam sanitizer? Um, I mean, that just says increases production by 10%. That says you get 10% more output from your source materials. That's the kind of same thing, isn't it? Um, I mean, a steam sanitizer is a boiler. And the boiler, you could use that to also make a bit of tea. Is what I'm thinking there. So Penge Cupboard could stop by, yeah, and have a little, a little bit of lovely fresh hot water available because of the boiler. I think we'll go for that. Industrial filters could be useful. They're also a bit more expensive, and I think they have exactly the same end result. So yeah, we'll have that, please. We're making a lot of beer. We're making an awful lot of beer. Oh my goodness me. Okay, well there we go. Right. So it's looking good. It's looking good. Things are being improved, and I've just realised that we've got a load of stuff over here. We've got sixty lots of backroom beer that we're just not selling at all. Um, okay, right, maybe we need to turn our attention to the whole beer side of things now. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Back things up a little bit. I think maybe we should get Harry, so get Angry Harry, to do some extra bits and bobs on his route to pick up more crocs before I forget, because I'll forget. If I get involved in the whole beer side of things, I will entirely forget that this place is being upgraded, a bit like I've forgotten about the beer. And um, yes, then it'll stop working because there won't be enough crocs and all that sort of stuff. So I think, Harry, let's have a look at what you're doing. So you could easily pop over there and down here and buy some crocs. That's what you could do. So you're picking up some... Hang on. You're taking crocs from Agnes's place. So you go, hang on, what do you do here? You pick up the stuff, you go and sell lots of cider, you drop off hard cider at Robert's Candies. That's good. So you drop off cider at the pub. However, we want you to drop off significantly more than that. Hang on, hang on. Pick up as much hard cider as possible. Drop off, I don't know, what if we just put it up to 50 for now? Drop off 50 lots of cider at the pub, then sell some, sell some more. Then you drop, hang on, where are we? Sell cider. Buy the apple juice until the vehicle has eight small barrels. No, buy all of the apple juice. Buy as much apple juice as there is, please. Um, then pick up... Uh, yeah, that's Agnes's place. So do we want you to take crocs from there? Because I think you can buy the crocs from over here now. So I think... I think we get rid of that. Get rid of that. Don't take crocs away from Agnes's place, because that could be a problem. So you drop off... You buy the apple juice. You go back to Eduardo's. You drop off the apple juice. You drop off crocs. So what you're going to need to do is, when you've got the apple juice, you buy the apple juice from Novakowski's, then you need to come over here, pick up some crocs, and then go back home. Although, although, hang on, hang on, where's, where is, hang on, can we see the route? Can we see the route kind of overall? Can we see what it looks like? 
Um, hang on, go to this step next. Uh, hang on, where where do you go? Where do you go? So Eduardo's hard cider is where? So you go to there first. I think you pick up the crocs first. I think you grab, I think you grab the crocs from over there. I think that would make more sense. And then you go back onto your route. So let's do that show. Right, so Harry. Harry, Harry, Harry. Select the next step in the route. Okay, that's gone a bit weird. I don't know what we're doing with that. Oh, hang on, what? What's going on there? Hang on, discard changes. What's this here? I don't know what that is. Hang on, what's that saying? Buy apple juice from Novakowski's. Buy zero. Hang on, what? This, this is slightly weird. Get rid of that. I don't know what that's doing there because we're buying apple juice there. Right, okay, okay, this is all fine. So go to here. So his first thing, his first thing is pick up all the money and such like. Then he goes to here to sell some sell some cider. That's good. And then we want to buy crocs. We want to buy crocs from maybe Joseph's Pastries. So buy all of those. Yes, please. And then buy them from that place. Just there. Yes, absolutely. Do that. Buy all of the crocs you can. And then carry on with the rest of your route, please. That's going to be wonderful. The only thing is we now need to move those into the right place. Hang on. Okay, hang on. This is a bit confusing. There are two steps for going to the Southern Market Czech grocers and buying all of the stoneware crocs. So either I've added it twice or it was already there and I just didn't notice. Okay, that's fine. Let's get rid of that one. Delete that step there. Okay, so how are we looking for stuff now? So he picks up the stuff over here. Then he goes here to sell some, sell some nice cider. Then he goes, I think he needs to go to the further one first. So go over to Joseph's Pastries, pick up Crocs, go to there to pick up Crocs, then go back over here, sell some cider, and so on and so forth. The rest of the route is the same. Okay, and then at the end, you drop off the Crocs, you drop off the money, and then you repeat everything. Okay, right, happy with that. There we go. So I'm not going to forget to do that, even though I probably yeah, I would have forgotten to do it. But now it's all done. It's all sorted. Okay, what are we doing? Oh yeah, beer. Lovely bottled beer. Right, who would like some lovely bottled beer? because we have got quite a bit of it. So right now, let's see who would like that. So Plaza Lanes wants some, and, oh, there's quite, do you know what? Oh, there's loads of takers. Oh, there are so many takers for it. This is wonderful. Okay, and quite a few of them are in our own territory, which is wonderful stuff. So now I think what we need to do is, we need to get ourselves some people, don't we? We need to get some people, so somebody to work in there, somebody to actually manage the whole sort of, you know, proper bottled beer operation, and somebody to then deliver it and go and pick up the resources and pick up the bottles and pick up the hops and all that kind of stuff. So another delivery route is going to have to go in. Um, however, however, first things first, let's have a look at who is available. Um, so crew list and untick that and that. Right, people looking to join our crew. Who have we got that's kind of, you know, organized and all that kind of stuff? We kind of want the same as, I mean, you're, oh, hang on a minute. I didn't want to do that. Can we just push that? I just want to look at your traits, my good sir. Um, okay, right, hang on. We can't, I just want to look at his traits. I don't want to, I don't want to interact in any way. Um, fine, we'll do that and then come out of that. No, we can't look at his traits. It won't let us. Okay, um, whatever he is good at, we want to be kind of same. We want organized and all that kind of stuff. Hang on, what was it? Organized, friendly, and hardworking. Okay, that would make sense. I mean, organized and hardworking would certainly be very helpful. Okay, so do we have anybody that meets those criteria? Incredibly, no. We have nobody at all that is organized. Nobody at all. Nobody's organized. Nobody's hardworking. Oh, okay. I mean, this isn't brilliant, is it? I was kind of hoping that maybe we could get a, we could get somebody who was quite good at managing things on board. But no, we haven't really got anybody at all to do that. And um, that's a bit of a shame. Okay, right. So maybe we don't have that managed for a little while. I mean, you know, it's okay. It's doing its thing as it is. Pench cupboard must just, you know, pop in every so often and just, you know, jab some buttons or whatever he needs to do. So, um, Let's see if we can find anybody who might be quite good as a delivery driver. So somebody who can go and drive about the place and, you know, deliver the goods and drop them off and all that kind of stuff. I mean, if we had them as somebody who is a bit fighty, that would not be a bad thing. But we don't necessarily need them as a fighty person because we've got three fighty people as it is. So I think, you know, if we have someone who's very quick or, you know, there's a skill that means they're very good at dropping off you know, driving around and dropping off goods or whatever. I do not know. So, okay, so nobody organized. Let's see 
if there's anybody that's going to be any good at, you know, doing deliveries and drop-offs and stuff. Do you know, it's slim pickings out there right now. Oh my goodness me, there are not many people that we really want to get on board. However, we do have a couple of candidates for somebody who can drive around the place. So we have Ronald Johnson. So it says, talkative, got some deliveries to do. The talkative type is likely to find out some things whilst on the job. So that's quite good. So as a barkeep, they tend to talk too much, but they're not going to be a barkeep. So that could be quite good. And they're friendly, so running a speakeasy or doing some deliveries. Really anything that involves dealing with people, this may be a choice crew member. So they've got two good traits there for delivering stuff. Okay, and then at the bottom here, we have Fred Williams. So Fred is attractive and strong. They can handle a weapon and load a truck with ease. However, attractive is only useful for being in like a pub or whatever, being in a speakeasy or a whatever they are, bootlegging operation. So that's not really going to do anything. So I think, I think as strong as you are, Fred, and it's very impressive, um, let's get Ronald on board, shall we? Let's get you on board. So who do we need to talk to about this? Uh, we need to go down there to that packing company place. Right, hang on a minute. Where where are we? There's many people around the place. Let's go. Let's not go there because we haven't got any, uh, haven't got any action points left. Hang on a second. <laughs> right. Penge cupboard. Pop down here, if you would be so kind. You need to repair your car at some point. Um, okay, pop into pop into this place. So, hello. Um, right, two favours. Looking to hire somebody. Ronald, tell me more. Yep, talkative and friendly. He seems brilliant. A 20-year-old Canadian. Yep, absolutely. Can we get them on board, please? This is very good indeed. Okay, so he's now not doing anything. So we need to give him, we need to assign him to, I think, the delivery truck. Because I think, hang on a minute, hang on, hang on. Can we do that? And rather, delivery truck, I think, is bigger, isn't it? So assign to the delivery truck. So hang on, can we see? Again, I find this, I find this very befuddling. Like, how big is the delivery truck? Which is which is the biggest of the trucks? Hang on, hang on. Where are you? So Ronald is up here. Can we see what's in the can we see the size of the vehicle and stuff? I don't know. There is a bit where we can, but I'm not entirely sure where it is. I think. The delivery truck is bigger than a pickup, isn't it? It's a proper, actual, big delivery vehicle. So that's quite good. So, right, he's got that. So, right, where are you? Whereabouts are you? You're over there, Ronald. Okay, so pop over to... Do you know, pop over to there for now. And just pick up a weapon whilst you're here. Just because, you know, stuff might you, might... you might need a weapon. You might happen across a situation where you need to do a little bit of sort of, you know, shooty-stabby action. So take a pistol for yourself. Take a Colt pistol. They sound you know, it's a shooty. So that'll do. So we'll have a bit of that. Thank you. Um, and then we're going to need to set up a route for him. And it's going to be very complicated and very elaborate, isn't it? Because he's going to need to pick up various bits and bobs and drop things off and do all sorts of other clever stuff. So this could take quite a long time to get that sorted. Let's move him over to there for now. Right. Ronald, are you ready for a very, very complicated route to be set up? I mean, I'm thinking maybe... I'm thinking maybe we have one person delivering stuff. We might need two people to help out here. We might need two people. Because I'm thinking he's going to have to go round. He's going to have to... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go into there. He's going to have to collect the hops from here. So that's fine. That place makes hops. So that's okay. So collect them. Then he's going to have to buy barley. And then he's going to have to go and pick up the bottles. Then he takes them back to there. And then he's going to have to pick up the beer. And then drive around with the beer to deliver it to people to sell it and then go back home again and drop the money off. Although it takes eight turns. Eight turns to make the 60 beer. So actually thinking about it, we should have plenty of time to drive around and drop the beer off. Okay, okay, right. Um, Ron, where are you, Ron? Uh, you're up there. Right, okay, let's make a new delivery route. And here we go. Right, so uh, let's get this sorted. Um, let's call it uh, Ron's Bottled Beers. Uh, Ron's bottle beers are on the way. There we go. That sounds quite nice. Uh, right, assign a driver. It's going to be a Ron. There we go. 120 feet squared. Cubed. Whatever it is. That three. The 120 foot of space, but like, you know, three dimensional space and stuff. There you go. That's quite a lot. Um, okay, right. Let's set up his route along here then. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get this right first time. I don't imagine we will, but I'll just go through and do this because this could take quite a long time. And because I'm doing it, there's going to be a lot of, you know, things going wrong and me going, what's that doing? Why is it doing that? So hang on, let's just get this set up right now. Oh my goodness me. Right. I think this is done. I mean, I'm imagining that we're going to have to come and tweak this ever so slightly because I will have missed something out, but I think this is more or less it. So we start off at Sheila's corner. So Ronald here goes and picks up 
$250. I think that should be enough, but of course we can change it if we need to. So he picks up some money and he picks up all the backroom beer that there is. Then he goes over here and he sells some beer to them. Then he comes down to here and he buys some barley because we need barley to make the beer. So then he's going to go over here and buy some barley, which is good. Then he's going to come down to here, which is Nelly's, and he's going to sell some beer. So that's step six. Hang on. So let's let's keep the steps sort of in sync with where we are. And then he's going to go down to neighborhood construction and painting and sell some beer. Then he's going to pop over to Agnes's place and pick up some hops. So by this point, we've got the barley and the bottles and the hops on board in the vehicle. Then he's going to go to Plaza Lanes and sell some beer. Then hang on, let's keep it coming down. So hang on, where's Plaza Lanes? So there's Plaza Lanes. Then he's going to come all the way down here to T&B Cafeteria, sell some beer. Then he's going to go to there, to K&I Packing Company, and buy some barley, because, you know, we want lots of it. We want to keep the beer production flowing. Then we're going to head over to that place there, O&G Cafeteria. That's our kind of last stop. So we sell beer there, and then we drive all the way down this one big street. Back home we go. We drop off the barley. We drop off the hops. We drop off the bottles. We drop off the money. And then we start again. I think that's about right. I think that's what we want to do. So here we go. Ronald, have a go if you would be so kind. I mean, this might all go horribly, horribly wrong. It might be a great big mess, but at least we've got something in place. And yeah, they're struggling right now because they can't get anything going. They've got no beer, you've got no hops or whatever. So they're lacking in certain things. What are they lacking in? Uh, they've got hops. They're lacking in barley and bottles, of course, but there is plenty of beer in there. Okay, right, there we go. I mean, let's see if that works. Have we got anything else that we need to do? We haven't got much in the way of missions going on. I wonder if it's worth... Where is Penge Cupboard? Down there. Is it worth just grabbing a few missions just because they're quite good and we get nice rewards from them? Let's grab a few, shall we? I mean, yeah, okay, you quite like us. Okay, I am listening. Um, as people have been dropping off their envelopes every month, I've gotten to know some of them better. Okay, so useful knowledge. Um, deliver 15 barrels and 5 bricks. Yeah, okay, we can do that. That's a nice easy mission. So that's one done. Um, oh, also that place there, the flower place, they've got a mission as well. Do you know what? Yeah, okay, let's have a chat, Walter. Yeah, you quite like us, so this is quite good. So, okay, I am listening. Um, okay, people are clamoring for homemade moonshine. Yeah, I'm not I'm not up for having another moon, and you know, a new sort of tier one alcohol operation set up quite yet. So thank you for that. But no, we'll pass on that one right now. Um, any other missions going on? Um, well, yeah, up there. Look, there's a few going on up here as well. Let's see what we can do over here. So, uh, Mr. Roth. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, claim for homemade brick wine. Nope, not really up for that. Do apologise. And do you have a moment for a chat? Absolutely. Homemade moonshine. Okay. Okay, the game is sort of, sort of indicating that maybe we should be trying to get other tier one alcohols in, which is interesting. Okay, maybe we need to get the, where is it? Maybe we need to get Peter's meats and cheeses set up to make moonshine or whatever. Um, also, whilst we're here, Pench Cupboard, head over to the opening to repair your car. Um, let's have a look at the hotel. Still not giving away any, um, giving away any secrets about what they would like. Yeah, they're not really saying anything. You're trading things you don't know about yet. Which is unfortunate, but never mind, never mind. Right, let's go and get your car repaired, Penge Cupboard. $73, absolutely fine, wonderful. There we go, the vehicle is back up and running. That is all very good indeed. Okay, right, do you know what? Let's move time on. Let's see if Ronald's route actually does start doing something. Is it going to work? So here we go. So Ronald is making his way round there. So Ronald, what do you have upon your person right now? $175. So you would have took 250, but yes, you've spent some. You will have uh, purchased some stuff from here, I think, and you would have sold some beer. So, okay, fine. So his route is underway, which is very good indeed. That's a good thing. Um, okay, do you know what? I'm tempted just to get it moving on again. Let's just see what else happens. Ah, and we have another corner and much has happened in the way of sales. And the cider operation is now improved. Oh, this is wonderful stuff. Okay, so we have another corner. This is all good. We've bought malt syrup. We've bought loads of crocs. We've bought a sack of barley. We've bought two cases of bottles. And we sold 12 lots of backroom beer for $360. 
Oh, that is very good. Ronald has already got $528 on him. Okay, this is good news. So I thought I'd go back to our list of potential recruits just to see if any new people had appeared that might be able to go and, you know, run operations over at the Bottled Beer Place. And we do have a couple of potential recruits. So we've got Jean or Jean Cartier. So 21 years old. She's American. She's organized friendly and hardworking. And then down here, we have Earl Kovar, who is 20 years old. He's Czech. He is organized, hardworking and irreverent. Okay, I like the sound of, I like the sound of her, Jean. We'll call her Jean because yeah, she's friendly and I like that. So she's organized. That's good. She's friendly. I like that. And she's hardworking. Absolutely. Can we get her on board, please? Um, hang on, down here again? At that place again? Oh, okay. Didn't we get the last person from there? Hang on, Penge Cupboard. Whereabouts are you? Can you make your way down here, please? So we have got a favour with them, which is good. Um, okay. Favour. Looking to hire somebody. Um, yeah, Jean. Okay, yes. Organised, friendly and hardworking. Uh, yes, please. Can we get her on board? That would be wonderful. There we go. We're up to nine people. This is going very well. And over at Sheila's, um, Jean... That's where you can go. You can go to Sheila's Corner and you can manage things over there. Now, I think as well, we've got a little bit of money. So let's go and have a look at what we can do with the beer place. Just going to have a quick look at that. Let's just see what we can do with this. So pop into here. So um, yeah, upgrades available. We can turn it back into homebrew. We could make a vodka still, which sounds like a terrible idea because it gets rid of our beer. Or we can make a large brewery. The operation makes beer the way it's best appreciated in kegs to be served on draft. Oh, that sounds wonderful. However, we don't know the skill beer by the keg. It's quite intensive and we need ice. Okay, I don't even know if we're aware of where we can get ice yet. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. No, that requires 20 lots of backroom beer. We can't make the beer because we're making the beer. Into that's very complicated. Okay, I don't fancy that. Um, okay, how about in here though? We've got some money. We could put some money into here. So we could make even more bottled beer. We could get production tracking, double barrel production. Oh, we can increase the amount of booze we make by 20%. That does it by 25%, doesn't it? Okay, so there is potential for us to actually upgrade that even more. Right now, I don't think we need to. I think we're okay for now. Hang on, hang on. Let's have a quick look. Um, Ron, how are you looking for beer? You've got 40 left. Although I think you would have taken quite a lot, wouldn't you? You would have taken quite a bit of it. Um, okay, right. Skip to the next turn. I'd quite like to get Ronald's route completed. I'd like to get Ronald back up here just to see if his route is a success. So, do you know what? It's fine. Let's do that again, shall we? Everyone else is driving about the place being very busy. Um, yep, something is stored over there. It's probably because of a lack of crocs or whatever. And there we go. I think Ronald has arrived back home. He's got two small bottles on him. And that is it. Um, okay, hang on. Should he not have drop those off. Maybe he ran out of action points to drop those off. Okay, I am willing to go to the next turn again. Right, Ronald, how are you looking now? There we go. Right, he's dropped everything off and his route is complete. So now, if we look in there, we should see that there is barley, there's hops, and there's some bottles. Okay, the problem is going to be bottles, isn't it? Bottles is going to be a bit of an issue because we just don't have enough of them. There's only one place that sells them which is not ideal, is it? Um, okay, but there we go. At least Ronald's route is a success. It's kind of now down to the, the sort of, you know, the operational side of things that is the problem. But yeah, he's gone, he's sold all the beer, he's bought everything back, he's put the cash in. Yeah, you know, do you know what, Ronald? As a first sort of, I mean, I was going to say first day, but time has passed. As a first month on the job, that was pretty good. Well done. Have this lovely cup of Earl Grey by means of celebration. And I think with that done, we will finish things up for the moment. Now, I know we've not really moved time on very much this time round. I mean, in previous parts, we've been moving time on by sort of six months at a time because everything was automated. We were just able to go round and, you know, complete missions and poodle about the place and deal with some troublemakers. Whereas, you know, now we've had to set up routes. We've had to go and deliver things. We've had to get people on board. So, yeah, there's been a kind of, you know, a big kind of push to get the beer side of things set up. So I think next time we'll see time moving on quite quickly because, you know, this is all automated we do have a few supply issues in terms of you know the barley and the bottles and all that kind of stuff so we'll try and get that sorted maybe if we can get some more sort of corners under our control we might find new places that are selling the things that we want but uh but yeah we'll try and do that next time sort the beer issues out and then yes just sort of keep going i mean the money is coming in very very nicely indeed maybe we could do with getting another sort of heavy on board just to go and deal with some of the troublemakers 
because you know now we've got we've got frowny face on an important route now he's going and helping out the front so you know, we can sort of you know pull him away from that but that means that the fronts are no longer being helped out so we'll have to see what we can do i mean we do have capacity for another person and we have got a vehicle so maybe we just do get somebody that can go and do a bit of fighting and they can just go and you know take the fight to the crews that are around the place and make them go away I don't know. We'll see what we can do next time. But uh, but yeah, we'll do all that kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in City of Gangsters. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Everyone loves barbecued rat. My compliments to the chef. I don't think he did much. He literally stuck a stick up the rat's bottom and put it on a fire. Shrieking weird ladies in the water. Probably not a good thing. The heroes offer a decisive solution to all the woman's riddles. <laughs> By shoving her off the bridge. Yay. Yay for the chiseled stick.